Good morning everybody and welcome to Vlogmas. Would you believe it's the 1st of December, nearly Christmas, and we're doing Vlogmas this year. It's gonna be a lot of fun. The build up to Christmas is really all about doing lots of festive activities, making the most magical family memories and just having a really lovely time. So why not document it and share it all with you guys? So if you're here, and if you're watching our Vlogmas series this year, then thank you so much. I really hope you enjoy it. I wouldn't usually start a vlog series looking quite so dishevelled and unkept, but there's good reason, which I'll explain. So it's currently 6.30 in the morning on the 1st of December, which means it's the start of Vlogmas. It also means somebody has returned for the festive season. Now, this guy is going to now cause us 24 days of grief and having to come up with ideas of what kind of mischief the elf on the shelf can get up to this December. And for his first day back, and as a surprise for Paisley, just to make it a bit special, he's returned and he's bought a North Pole breakfast. Let me show you. So you'll see it's still dark outside. Literally, like I said, it's 6.30 a.m. It's a school day, so I've had to get up really early to do this. Um, but here he is, little Bernard, we called him last year. We've got this balloon arrangement from a local um, balloon lady, but she's made it all personalised with Paisley's name, and it says, I'm back. So here he is. He's arrived directly from the North Pole with this delightful Christmassy spread for the North Pole breakfast. Now a lot of these decorations I did already have, like um, a lot of the red stuff I bought for Valentine's Day because I did pay the Valentine's afternoon tea as well. So I've just had to top it up with a few Christmassy bits from home bargains mainly because they're so reasonable. Um, I imagine we'll use a lot of this stuff throughout December as well, like the paper plates and headbands, etc. I'll just give you a little tour of the table arrangement. Again, I must apologise for the terrible lighting. It's pitch back outside, so I've got the big lights on. My head is shining like a full moon. Okay, so firstly, I did buy this runner along the back of the table there. It doesn't quite stretch along to the whole table, but that's okay. It looks good still, and it's got like little love hearts on, and it does have snowflakes as well, but they're covered up. I got the golden candles from Home Bargains because I'm gonna use them as part of our Christmas decorations as well. So just thought that they look really cute on this display. These little tea lights, which I need to just go around and turn on are from Valentine's Day. Again, Home Bargains, I think they're $1.99 for a pack of four. I've got these wooden serving trays, which we just have in the cupboard. Paper plates, I don't, there's a whole bunch there. I don't really know why I've done that. I need to put some of those away napkins i've got this tinsel decoration and i've put it round the sides of the table like a candy cane well, i like to think it looks like a candy cane <laughs> and then i put christmas lights like all around the table i've got some chrysanthemums like the red christmas flower i've got us each a headband to get in the festive spirit so i should probably put mine on this is me the little santa's unicorns are for paisley and rob has got this delightful light up one so i'm sure he's going to be absolutely over the moon with me for getting him this oh and i also picked up these um official elf reports from the north pole from tesco a while ago but it just says um that your elf has been watching you and you've been naughty or nice and i've just put paisley you've been nice for being a kind loving caring little girl keep it up love from bernard and they will be good in the run up to Christmas. So if she's cheeky or what have you, I can put that he's caught her being naughty and Santa's watching. So I bought way too much food for three people at 7 a.m. on a Wednesday morning, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm sure it'll get eaten throughout the course of the day. So I'm cooking pancakes and bacon with maple syrup and scrambled eggs. Like, a bit of an American breakfast because it's just a treat and it's yummy. I've got croissants, jam and butter and then I've got like lots of um, festive chocolatey goodies which I'll show you in just a second but just to put a little bit of fun on things and I'm also going to do a big bowl of vanilla ice cream as like snow from the North Pole and lemon sorbet just because Paisley really likes that and that can be the ice so I think that will make her laugh. So the snacks I've got are these golden coins, 
mini snowballs and frosty fancies which I'm just going to scatter around the table. Of course I've got a little guest as I get the snacks out. Oh and I've also got Paisley's advent calendar down because it is time to start that today as well which is amazing. What are you doing puppy? And I've got a nice Christmas candle on as well. It's a warm apple and cinnamon. Again a home bargain special but it smells lovely and is making it smell very festive in here. Oh my goodness, I've actually just got all the food ready, just on time, it's five past seven, I need to go and wake Paisley up to come down to her surprise. But we've got the pancakes, bacon and egg, the ice cream snow, butter and jam for the warm up croissants. I've got the ice, lemon sorbet, the sweet treats, and I've scattered like the little Cadbury snowballs all around. So I'm so excited and so hungry. It smells so good. Gonna go wake Paisley and Rob up and come down to their yeah. surprise. Somebody's here. Santa. Not Santa, baby. Look who's in your balloon. Oh my goodness. What's he done? I don't know. I think. Oh look, you've got an elf report. Whose name's on there? It says to Paisley, you're on the nice list for being a kind, caring, loving little girly. He sent you breakfast. Unicorns. You have. Look, he sent you breakfast from the North Pole. <laughs> it won't be cold, don't worry. Oh, but I do see a big bowl of snow. What's that? Over here. Oh, it's ice. Ice? That's ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's friend. <laughs> Lemon sorbet. And I think there's more over here. What? What's this one? Oh, gosh. Use a spoon. Santa has your breakfast elf. Yes, it is. Is that his voice? <laughs> Mummy well, we didn't know how to do his voice. Um, we've all got our little headsets on. You look so cute, darling. Is this yes, good? Yes, look. Look at the uh, white balloon. He's inside of my white balloon. How did he get here? I wonder how. I don't know. <laughs> So yummy, isn't it, guys? I just found out there's chocolate. Paisley's found the chocolate, which Bernard said to her. Mummy's found the bacon and pancakes, so it's Rob. And we also got some maple syrup, so they're very nice. Very, very Too badly, we've just got a couple of croissants left and some pancakes. You loved the egg, didn't you? The North Pole egg. Elf on the shelf put this with this. He bought us this. There's a that, but. There's no one! There will be a one. Where? <laughs> I don't know, but there will be. So Pacey thinks that Elf has done a trick by sending her an advent calendar with no one. But there definitely will be a number one sweetheart. <laughs> that was so fun. So, so yummy. We didn't eat much of the um, sweets tray, but that's okay. I can leave that for the day. You're just going to have a little bit more of a tidy up. And get ready for school, baby. So we've just got this standard dairy milk advent calendar this year. We haven't gone all out. In the past, we've had like toy ones and you can get all sorts now. But keeping it basic. Wow, what have you got, darling? A gingerbread man. Oh, yummy. Look at him, he looks so <laughs> That was so much fun, literally. So fun. Bring it down. Um, yeah, I need to do a quick tidy up before school and work now and try not to eat all these cakes and chocolates throughout the course of the day. But Pacey, we've got one more job to do. Aww. The last thing me and my little Christmas girl need to do is put the Mickey wreath on the door, which we did pick up from Tesco a couple of weeks ago now and I haven't actually seen it since, so I'm quite glad we did it when we did. It's lovely, isn't it, baby this girl? Is how it looks when it's up. Yeah. You'll see it on the bed and then on the door. Oh no, it won't. Whoopsie daisy, just slide it through. That's it. So this is going to be our outside reef and there is another material Mickey reef, I think, in the loft, which we're going to have on the inside of the house. And then the tree decks and things are all going up this weekend. So, like it? hey, that's so gorgeous, right? And here we have our Mickey reef. Look at look at Lulu. Here's our Mickey. How cute is that? Thank Literally, you. I love it. First person coming to see your Mickey. Now Santa and the elves will definitely know where you are, won't they? <laughs> see my new sound here? Yeah. 
Woo! Here's the aftermath. Not too bad at all, not too much mess. I might actually leave the candy cane legs around the table because I think that looks cute. But yeah, had the realisation that in order to use the elf on the shelf, like tonight, I'm going to have to pop the balloon or try and find last year's elf. But I think that's up in the loft with the tree, which I'm not actually getting down until the weekend. So there's a predicament. If you guys have got any ideas on um, Elf on the Shelf antics, please let me know in the comments below because we've got a lot of days to fill. Babe, what was your favourite part about your North Pole breakfast? Uh, the eggs. Yeah? Uh -huh. Pacey says the eggs are really good and I said, well that's because the elves are used to making them for Santa, aren't they? And imagine being Santa's chef. You'd have to make the best stuff, right? Yeah, I would. <laughs> Did you like the ice and snow? Yeah. Yeah? It's not ice and snow, it's <laughs> ice cream. That's okay though, right? So thank you elves for thank such you, elves. a lovely North Pole breakfast. You're very lucky and so am I. My cousin Prince going to the North Pole tea. You're going to see something <coughs> in a few weeks, aren't you? I hope you've enjoyed our first Vlogmas video. I really like making new like family traditions and just doing these fun sort of things in the run up to Christmas because it makes it a bit more special, doesn't it? Yeah? Be sure to give the a big thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video. What is that face? <laughs> <laughs> and subscribe for lots more fun. We're off to Disneyland Paris next week. Yeah. Exactly a week we'll be in Disneyland Paris. So vlogs to follow, lots of festive fun, and we'll see you real soon. Be sure to like and subscribe. Bye guys.